Okay, I will improvise now. I will try to answer three questions which I believe you may have on your minds. First of all, you may think why this is so hard to swim in small dimensions. It's basically because of the physics. You see, when the dimensions go so smaller and smaller, the physics rules becomes, become weirder and weirder. Uh, here's an experiment for you. You may regret this, but if you want to feel what a bacterium cell feels, take a jar full of uh, honey, dip your hand in, try to move it around. <laughs> it's going to be really hard. So the, if it were possible to shrink a human being down to that size, that human being had no chance to go anywhere. So that's, that's why we try to mimic nature itself. We try to mimic bacteria cells. The, the second question, probably, okay, why modeling is so important? I told you that with robotics we use sensors, sensory inputs, and computations, lots of uh, computation. The thing is, when the robot is that small, we cannot use sensors. We cannot see, we cannot feel, and this is a completely different research area. People are trying to figure out how to use sensors with robots that small, and believe it or not, some people out there actually figured out how to control bacteria with computers. So modeling became a huge deal because it has to be correct. Whenever, with large, with large scale robotics, whenever computations are wrong, we can correct the thing with sensor inputs. In this case, we need the models to be correct, as correct as possible. And the third question, okay, why this project? <laughs> so it's not going to be a nice example, I am sorry, but I have seen some patients with post-op, cancer post-op. It's not a good sight. Uh, the thing is, if it is possible to send swimming micro-robots or any micro-robots inside the human body, and if they can uh, do the surgery, which we say non-invasive surgery, then it's going to be a lot better for the patient. And I must pay the respects for the person actually actually came up with this idea, Dr. Richard Feynman. Uh, almost 50 years ago, he told about this uh, on one of his papers. So uh, he is the very first person uh, who told us about this uh, project. So <laughs> I believe my time is almost over. <laughs> Thank you very much.